Guys, it's Beer Taster America. I'm sitting here, there's bees buzzing all over this bush here. It's got these flowers on it. As you guys can see. The bees buzzing all over these bushes. Tons of them. Got all these bushes right here. Just loaded up with bees. They're all over. And off in the distance. Yeah, I'm just here checking out the mountains. Guys, it's a beautiful day in March. And guys, I'm here to review a beer. It, this beer holds a special place in my heart, and I'll tell you why. Guys, this is Bitburger. Bitburger. It's a German beer. It says Germany's number one draft beer. This is a real popular beer over in Germany. Do you guys know what that means? I don't know what that C-A-C-R-V stands for. If it's a California thing or what that is. Guys, Bitburger. This would be... This would be like the equivalent of... I don't know, like Yingling or Sam Adams. Or something like that for Germany. Guys, it's Bitburger. It's a well-known popular beer over there. And this is a Pilsner. This is a Pilsner style Euro Lager. It's got English and German words on it. Um, I don't think it says anywhere like Pilsner or anything like that, but this is just a popular, well known German, you know, pale lager. Guys, it's Bitburger. Bitburger, Pilsner style Euro Lager. Yeah, it's one of the most popular in Germany. And this beer has a special place to me because I'm half German. My mother is from Germany. And I've had the, the privilege of going over there a few times, visiting, checking it out, trying their beer and food. It's awesome over there, guys. I'd like to go again. I haven't been there in about four or five years. But this was my grandfather. This was his favorite beer. He passed away a few years ago. But I remember last time I was there. And I really liked the local beer there, which was Ganter. I thought that beer was really good. And uh, he was saying, yeah, Ganter's pretty good. But you know the best beer? <laughs> best beer is Bitburger. And he had a bottle, man. He was loving it. So this was his favorite beer. So I've been out here. I just finished one of these. I've been just reminiscing on old times, thinking of my grandfather out here in the desert, drinking some Bitburger. Guys, let me review this beer and tell you what I think. It's Bitburger. The smell, you just smell like a grainy malt. Maybe a little bit of lemony smell. Just grainy malt. And a little bit of lemon zest kind of smell. A little bit of sweet, sweet maltness. Doesn't smell bad. Doesn't smell special. It just smells okay. It smells like a, you know your general pale lager sort of aroma. Not bad though. Bitburger. Let me tell you how it tastes. Let me take another sip. It's pretty good. It tastes that grainy maltiness. It's a little bit sweet. Then you taste the hot bitterness. That, that bitterness, it's just generically bitter. Maybe you could say there's some lemon to it. They're using Saz hops or Noble hops. I don't know if they're using 100% you know, fresh hop or if they're using an extract. I wouldn't be surprised if it was extract or a mix of both. Because there's that bitterness. There's that just that generic kind of hop bitterness. And it's also a little bit lemony. 
It's well balanced. There's a lot of carbonation. And the body is like borderline between light and medium. This beer is comparable to something like a Warsteiner. But it's a little bit lighter and more drinkable than Warsteiner. But it's got a little bit of a stronger bitterness too. It's Bitburger. It's got that smoky Euro Lager kind of thing. They have a smokiness to them. I don't know if it's something they do with their malt or what, but you drink like Heineken or Warsteiner or any of the well-known Euro Lagers, the ones that are made over there. Not like American Bex, but the ones that are made over there. This have this smoky thing, like that orange brow from Trader Joe's, the orange one. That one, they all have it. Just that smokiness. I think it's a combination of the kind of malt they use. Also some of their hop. Just this smoky kind of thing. The grainy malt. And the bitterness. It's a little bit lemony. The bitterness lingers. It's well balanced though. And the body's that borderline light medium. But there's just a lot of carbonation. This is a nice sipping beer. Like, you don't want to chug this beer, but at the same time, you could drink a few of these, just sipping on it, you know, have it nice and cold and just sip on it. We'll be here a little bit there, while you're watching the game. This would be a good beer game, like uh, watching a game basketball or football, have one for the first half, one for the second half, just sip it as you go. It's a nice kind of beer like that. And you know what? I bet my grandfather, I bet he sipped on a lot of these watching soccer games and what have you. So it's that kind of a beer. It's nice. There's no cheap adjunct or anything like that. It's all malt. You can taste the malt. You can taste the hop. It's very drinkable. This is what something like Budweiser should be. But isn't. Guys, this is really good. It's Bitburger. I like it. And I think I like it a little extra because of my grandfather. Guys, it's like that orange brow or Heineken or Warsteiner kind of beer. But it's nice. It's got a good drinkability. And you can taste the bitterness. I mean, you can't ignore it like you can with a lot of lighter style beers. Guys, it's Bitburger, a German beer. My grandfather's his favorite beer. This one's to you, Grandpa. It's Bitburger. Enjoy.